What up, dog loves? What up, dog bros? What up, dog hoes? Drop it to the floor. What up, dog loves? What up, dog bros? Drop it to the floor, cause my name next low. Make that thing pop, cause you know I'm not a thot. And you know I'm not a pop. And you know I can't cop. Your girl can't cop. Uh, but I can't burn. I make the th I'm fucking up. And you know I'm not a thot, and you know I can't, I'm, and you know I'm not a cop, and you know I can't pop. Your girl can't pop, uh, but I can't twerk. Hey, I make that thing work. Hey, I make that thing twerk. What's up? What's up? So, y'all, I'm about to go to the mall. I'm going to the mall by myself. I ain't got nobody to go with. Times like these, I wish I was at home. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm about to go to the mall. I didn't want to go by, go by myself for some reason. I don't know why. What I'm going. I really want a like a frappuccino from Starbucks, so that's what I'm about to go get. I want a coffee. I always get well. Sometimes I'll get caramel, but I prefer just a coffee frappuccino because I want coffee, but I just want it to be like slushy, like a slush kind, of, like slush coffee. So I get a coffee frappuccino. If y'all didn't know, Starbucks does have coffee frappuccinos with no flavoring, and then I'll just get. I'll get like a tall coffee frappuccino, but I'll get it in the grande cup with extra whipped cream. That's what I like to get. So I'm craving that right now. So that's what I'm about to go get. Um, I was watching Catfish. Hold on, I gotta fix my. I gotta fix my. Um, they were just towing everybody shit out here, cause they. I guess people was leaving their cars, like their cars that don't work. And girl, they was throwing the mess out their damn car. I thought they was playing, but they were serious. They weren't playing. So I um was watching catfish right and i always wonder like people that leave negative comments that are like trolls and stuff what the fuck do they look like that's what i always wondered in life like what do you look like that's what i just really be no one to know like and then when i go out in the streets now i just look around like damn you probably a troll i just think that in my head you know so i was watching catfish which catfish is one of my favorite shows so my yeah it's one of my favorite shows so I'm watching it and this girl named Andrea Russet, I think that's her name, she's a YouTuber. So she said she's been on YouTube since she was like in 6th grade. She has like 3.8 million subscribers, right? So she says, um, she says that she always gets fake, fake pages with her pictures. Like, since she started YouTube like in 6th grade. I don't even know how old the girl is now. She gotta be like 20, 19 or something, 19 or 20. But she was like, ever since she started YouTube, people make fake pages of her, right? Somebody had made fake pages of her and all of her family. And it was the same person, bro. So the person was like comment underneath the picture. So say I, I create a fake page, like, okay, I create a fake page for Beyonce, but I create a page for Beyonce and all her family members. And then I'm commenting on Beyonce picture, on Beyonce fake page, like I'm her family. This is what the girl was doing. Girl, they find the girl. She's like hysterical. Like, oh my God, I feel so bad. Da, 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 da. The girl name ended up being Zoe. Her girl, she was like, it started by me just doing, I started doing it. I don't even remember what the reason why she said she started doing it. She was like, she started doing it with her picture. She didn't know she was a YouTuber initially. She said she just Googled hot Tumblr girl. And then the picture came up. So she used the picture, but then later on she found out it was the girl from YouTube. Then she said people started commenting on the on the page, like this is a fake page, this is not a real page. And she so she was like, I gotta make it more real. So she created pages for all her family members. I'm talking about her brother, her sister, um, her mama, her daddy, and um her best friend. So she like, I've had all these different pages. But this is crazy as hell, like the, the fact that you giving this much energy to all these pages to act like you're me, right? So they find the girl, she's like, I'm so sorry, it wasn't nothing like that, like that. And she was dating guy. They really played it like this guy is searching for you. We want you to want him to know who this is. You're acting like you're Andrea arrested, but she's right here. Da da da. da. So it kind of found out she done went through all this stuff. And you know how they always be like, I went through all this stuff. And they always got self-esteem self issues and insecurities and all this and all that. And that's why they did what they did. Girl, I just wanted to see what she looked like. I had to continue watching because I wanted to see what she looked like so bad. She just looked like, she was like a little chunky little white girl. And she had, um, 
her teeth were spaced all the way apart. But other than that, I mean, she was cool. I, I, I mean, it is what it is. But I just want to know, like, what do you look like? Like, why do you do this? And what, why, what do you look like for you? How do you even have to? I wish they would have asked her because if I was Andrea, I would have said Andrea. I would have said, girl, Zoe. How do you even have time to maintain seven? Girl, you need to start a business. You know, if you put that energy into something that's positive or something that's good, you could be real successful. Because if you have, I can't run two fucking pa business pages. I got a business page in my regular page and YouTube and I be struggling. You running seven pages on Instagram or on Facebook. I don't know if it was on Facebook or Instagram. I mean, it had to be on Facebook because I think Facebook the only thing that show you how long you had a profile. And she was like, this, this, my sister's fake profile has been up since 2013, so it had to be on Facebook. If you have time to run seven fake pages, seven fake pages, bro, you definitely, you definitely have time to run a business. That means she need to be on my, I don't want her on my team she lied. But, I mean, she need to get that together. I just couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. Like, I'm still in awe. Like, I'm about to post her picture right here. This is what she look like right here. Troll. Troll, troll. That's all bad. That girl had, that girl had all them pages. Her, her whole family, girl. It's just crazy as hell. Then, the guy said that she was talking to, he said that she was uh, sending her, sending him videos of like Andre, Andrea, what Andrea, like uh oh this is my latest video, da 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 da. But he, they like, have you ever video chatted her? He like, he like, she she went so far as to be like, let's video chat. I want to video chat. And when they get ready to FaceTime or something, the thing would be like, connection is messed up or the connection is uh not working. I'm just like, yeah, this is crazy. That is just so crazy to me. People have time to do that. People are so insecure with who they are that they gotta act like they somebody else to talk to people. And then it was I watched another one because the episode is coming out back to back today. I watched another one where the girl was like, I could just tell she needed a therapist or she needed some type of help, girl. She was like, I do not even want to be me. I don't even want to be myself. Her name was Brianna. I just girl, I, I couldn't help but start crying like. I could never picture like you not wanting to be yourself. Like I just think that's so fucked up, and you not need to seek help. Like her, her sister was like she had been catfishing people since she was 15 years old, da, 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 and she didn't even have her. She had her own page. Like they was like, do you have your own social media page? She was like, yeah, I do, but I changed the name to a T. So instead of Brianna, it's Tiana. Cause they asked her like, who the fuck is Tiana? Because it came up on like the URL, and she was like. They was like, me was like, so you really don't even want to be yourself. And she was like, I don't, I don't. And he was like, and she a cute girl. She wasn't even no ugly girl. Like, it, like she was cute. She had her little, her skirt was a little too short. But I mean, was, was put her a little makeup on her face. She was cute without the makeup. But makeup will slay you down to the, beat you down to the ground. So put her a little makeup on, a little dress, some look. Get her, I wanted to do a makeover on her face. Well, do her a little makeover. Girl, she was a cute little girl. I'm like, she, t next she was little because she's 28. I'm like, he like, you a grown woman now. You have no reason now. But people be stuck in they, in they ways or in themselves. Like, I'm not good enough or I can't talk to nobody unless I'm somebody else or unless I had these certain pictures on my page. And there's somebody for everybody. Just because you feel like you look a certain way or you act a certain way, like, it's somebody for everybody, trust me. You ever look at somebody's relationship and you be like, oh my God, how did you even find somebody? But they found somebody. You know, that is what it is. Yeah, so I got my coffee frappuccino. <clears throat> so I got my coffee frappuccino. I was trying to record the lady because she was so close to me. I'm talking about so close. Like, I'm ordering my stuff. I'm ordering my stuff, my drink. And she places her cheek. So you know if you ever been to Starbucks, the counter ain't but this big. Now I just showed y'all what she looked like. I'm ordering my stuff. She places her stuff that she her cheese. All she had was a piece of string cheese. She places it on the counter and she up on my ass like we came together. So now I feel weird. So I'm like. Okay, so then I go down to the other thing and she's still up close to me like she close like she not close on my ass and no shit 
But this time, she was close on my ass at the register. Then this time, she just like a little close to me. I'm like, what is she doing? Then, I'm on my phone scrolling. The lady caught my drink. She like, coffee frappuccino. So I'm like, did she just say coffee? I'm thinking in my head, did she just say coffee frappuccino? The lady like, they go, your drink. I'm like, damn. <laughs> well, damn, I said, well, thank you, girl. Appreciate it. That's what I told her. <laughs> thank you, girl. Appreciate you. I call everybody girl. Turn on this yellow thing, y'all. I feel like it's cute, but it's not all that. Mm. It's gonna be enough. Four time, five time, baby, six time. So I like the green better. My little pouch is right there. But I don't know. It's not flattering. Like I don't feel like gorgeous or like cute. I mean it's straight. For like a casual look. But then what kind of shoes? Yeah, so I'm I went to, I'm at the mall. I went into Zara and I found like two or three good things, but I wanna go look around the mall some more. I already know how I am, not just gonna buy the first thing I see. But I'm in Zara and the lady, like everybody in there seems like they got an attitude problem. One girl looking at me, I think I might tell they I might have to call they corporate, bro. One girl looking at me, I said, I said hey to the girl. She's sitting there staring at me and she worked there. And then everybody else just give like a bad vibe, like they got an attitude problem. So I was looking at this little shirt and this, the lady that was in front of, well, she wasn't in front of me, but she was in the line. She was like, I was over there in the men's section and they had attitude problem. Like, they didn't want to help me, da, 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 da. So the girl like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I was just like, they do have attitude problem in there. I was like, I don't know how you bougie and you work at Zara. That's the funny part. That's the funny part that's funny to me. Like, um, you don't work in retail. But I might have to tell, cause it was just too bad. Like, they all like was in there with their nose stuck up. Like, they just, with somebody. I don't know who they thought they were, but it's annoying. I don't like shit like that. Alright y'all, so I'm about to leave the mall. I got some cute stuff. So, Operation Get My Wardrobe Together is going well. I had, I got two, I got a one shirt from Zara. I had a dress from Zara that's really cute. And I got some black jeans from, uh, actually Forever 21. And they really, really, we're just playing jeans. They're like 12, like 12 dollars. I wanted to go in, um, I don't know if I want to go in Bath and Body Works. I might have to look up with some good lip, like lip stuff for my lips, for my lip balm. And, um, see which one I want to get. I guess I could maybe go in Bath and Body Works, but I don't know. Last time I went in there, they never really have enough for lips. Let's just see. Let's see. This all they got is this little bit, so no, that's not gonna work. They only had those little bit of lip balms. What, what, what was that? I'm confused. So no. I went in Lush, but they had like the one that you dip your hand in. And what if my hand dirty? I don't wanna do that either. So yeah, I guess I just have to wait. I'm gonna look up the MAC one and see if I like it. I have to see what the ingredients are. I guess I could go in MAC. But I'm ready to go in the car because my phone did. Alright, right, y'all. I went in there and I put the MAC conditioner lip stuff on my hand. But I don't know. I had to look up what's in the ingredients and they were busy. So if it has beeswax or like petroleum in there, it's going to dry my lips off. So I, that's not going to work. So I had to look it up. But they had 25% off like select members or something like that. But he said if I sign up, I think it's not over to the 25th. That's what he said. So I'm going to go look it up. But my phone is dead, so I couldn't look it up on my phone. So I had to wait. But I don't want to buy it and then I don't like it. That's the only thing. And it's this orange lipstick I want from there too. But I don't remember the name of it. This girl had it on her Instagram. But, cause it looked really cute. But I don't think orange would look good with my skin tone. I mean my uh, hair. I don't know though. All right, I'm leaving them all now so I can charge my phone. And then I'm going to Crunch Fitness because I want to see I was trying to find Steve Madden, but I don't remember where the hell it's at. I don't know where it's at. Oh, I went back in Zara, and the, this girl rung me up. So first when I was there, she had an attitude. She didn't have an attitude, but she didn't say like speak or nothing. So the other girl that was there, she kept saying, I leave at six, I leave at six, which I think is just so unprofessional. Like you keep on saying it, and people are out on the floor. It's kind of annoying. So <laughs> she rings me up. I walk up to the register, she don't say nothing. She don't say like, hey, did you find everything? She didn't say nothing, she just ringing me up. I said, hey, how you doing? She told me something. I'm good, I like your hair, girl, girl. 
I didn't know this was a, what is this? Oh girl, I thought my hair, car had a toe. A toe thing. I don't buy her no ticket. Girl, I parked over some damn blue lines. I think this was all the way wrong. But I don't know if it was or not. Girl, I was gonna have a heart attack if I had a damn, a boot on my car, I was about to have a heart attack. To my signal of distress. All right, I'm gonna go to Crunch Fitness. Then I wanna go home and go through my closet. I need to edit the video for tomorrow because I did the MAC makeup look. So I need to do that first before I... Shit. I guess tomorrow I may just clean up my room and go through my clothes and stuff. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm happy I got my look. I think I do like shopping now a little bit. I like shopping, but I don't like shopping when I'm rushing to put outfits together. Maybe I should have specified when I said I didn't like shopping. Cause I mean, this was cool. Like, I just got one in there. Like, if I would have had my phone charged, I would have probably just listened to my music and just looked through the stuff. But I got, I'm happy about my purchases, and I really am happy. Like, I, I feel good. I feel like a stress reliever, kind of. Now I'm not gonna be going over the board, but I feel like I got some cute little stuff, and it's not no pressure. Like, I don't feel like, oh, I gotta find something to put on. I gotta find something to put on. It's just like I'm just buying my little pieces. So next up, next week, I'm gonna buy some little pieces from um forever 21 you know like the little shirts like this like the little like black white just different colors um to go into my wardrobe i did i know i'm gonna wear a lot the little heart to top the little um not heart to tops the, i can't think of the damn name of them but you know what I'm, you get what i'm saying yeah i'm about to little key pieces next week that's what i'm gonna come in here and do and then yeah i'm about to be on my little wardrobe girl because i got to have me some clothes ready if i'm going somewhere I, don't, I feel like I don't have any clothes. Like, yeah, I know I just like to um, throw on stuff. I like casual stuff, but I have to have me some little outfits. I can't even do it no more. Well, you know, <laughs> I used to vlog myself, and then I stopped because it was a lot of editing. Yeah, girl, so, it's a lot of work. It is. So I'm at the I'm at Crunch Fitness, y'all. She showed me everything. Mm -hmm. It's so it got so much different like different things, and they have a sauna. Yeah. So I think it's maybe the best option over Planet Fitness. But I'm doing a massage right now, hydro yeah. massage. So, so she's gonna do it for me. basically, just push start. Okay. You know, go from head to toe. Um, and let's see, what does it say? Morning. Don't know what that means. I don't know. Oh yeah. Do you feel it going from head? Yeah, to toe? I feel it. So yeah, usually if you wanted to stop it in a place, you just push hold. And then you can resume, and then it'll go basically from it. So you can increase okay. the intensity, increase the speed, and just go for about five minutes and relax. Okay. You know what? Okay, cool. So y'all, they have all these different machines. I don't know if y'all can hear me. I'm trying to talk loud. They have all these different machines. They have like yoga classes and everything. If you do the ten dollar, the ten dollar thing, girl, this thing has games and everything. If you do the ten dollar, um, then you don't get all of this. Girl, this thing feels good. What if somebody has sex on here? So I like the gym. It had a lot of perks. She asked me for my Instagram, my YouTube name. <laughs> I gave it to her. But um I am what am I doing? Oh, I am about to. I don't know why people leave with the question like, where do you work? This guy asked me that in there. Where do you work? Um we started telling people I have multiple streams of income. I don't work. <laughs> I have four streams of income, bro. I, I don't work, my man. I don't work. I work, but I don't work for anyone. You get what I'm saying? I just can't even identify with that. Like, I told y'all about just identifying with what you do. Like, oh, 
Yeah, I do this. I mean, I'm a Keisha assistant, but it's like, why does that matter? You know, it's funny to me. People leave with that. Like, where do you work? What do you do? Where do you work? Why? What, what's the relevancy here? This guy asked me that in there that worked there, and I was just like, okay. Well, I mean, what you trying to size me up, or what, I mean, what do you what what is it? What's going on? But I think I'm gonna do Crunch Fitness, but I didn't buy it today because I have to process stuff. So I'm gonna go home. And I'm going to like look over the stuff again because the hydro massage thing was cool. It's not like a necessity for me. I can really just do um, the second one, which was like 1995. Ooh, 1995 a month. Then you got to pay when you first sign up, like a twenty dollar little fee, fee or some shit. It said, um, and what do you get? You get um. I like the fact that I can take yoga. I could do yoga classes, y'all. So if I do that, I could just do take yoga there. Like I can take yoga, different classes. Because I'm the type of person that I can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. But I want to. I do want to build my body and tone my body up. Because I told y'all I lost weight. If y'all don't know, I lost 10 pounds, bro. But the thing for me is portion control. Like I make sure I eat a little bit. Like I don't really eat a lot of food, and I eat like. I fast for a long ass time. So I think it's like a form of intermittent fasting, but I really don't know. Let me tell y'all what happened. So I'm at, I'm at Forever 21. This girl walked up to me. First off, she walked up on me. I don't like the folks walk up on me, but she walked up on me anyway. So she said, who did your hair? I said, this girl named Nene. She said, oh, it's cute. But my thing is, I was about to tell her like, oh, you can follow her on Instagram, but my thing is, why did you ask me that? Because you don't know who Nene is. So why did you just ask me that? Now I feel like I done wasted some words for the day. I could have saved my words for later. I gotta talk all the time. I talk on the vlog, I talk on my videos. I might I might lose my voice one time and I could have used them words. But you sat there and asked me that stupid ass question. Now I got the answer. And I couldn't even finish what I was finna say. Oh, it's cute. Okay, girl. Okay. You wanna gauge whether or not your way in ghetto? If your if the pre if the preacher do not say do anybody object your shit is ghetto, okay. If don't nobody have no shade wear on at the wedding it's ghetto too. That's it. That's all I got. Them two things. Hello, motherfuckers. Hello. So I was going to get my taxes done at three thirty, but she changed it to five o'clock. But I still gotta leave home at four because it takes me an hour to get to where she at. So. I'm about to get me some pancakes because they close at 3 o'clock and I want some blueberry pancakes so bad with some bacon. So I'm about to go to Original House of Pancakes and get that with some orange juice. And then I'm going to pay a few bills and then I'm going to get my taxes done. Um, yeah, Keisha was having a photo shoot today, but she didn't tell me till yesterday. And I'm like, girl, I'm going to get my taxes done. I already told the lady I was coming and I don't like, like not keeping my word. So I had a photo shoot at 4 o'clock, but I got to leave at 4 to go to the thing. So I'm not going to be able to go. But next time. Y'all met original house of pancakes, about to give me some pancakes. They closed in 30 minutes. Well actually, yeah, they closed in 30 minutes. But I really wanted some pancakes, so that's why I came. How you doing? Good, how are you? So I got blueberry pancakes, of course, bacon, and then I got eggs as well, but I don't really want the eggs, so I got them on a separate plate. I'm just, I eat it like a little bit of them, but I'm not gonna eat all of those. It's just too many. Yeah, and I'm so happy right now. So fucking happy. I've been wanting blueberry pancakes for like, Weeks. Good morning. Dun 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 dun. Good morning. So it's Sunday, y'all. I did not go to church today. I woke up and I was just tired. Excuse me, my face looks dry, but I just used my mic, my makeup wipes. I'm like, I'm trying to make this shit focus. Okay, I just used my makeup wipes to um to wipe my face. But I am cleaning out my closet and I'm about to just clean up my room today. I was gonna film a video, but I think I'm gonna try to leave early from work one day and film my makeup video for Saturday. Um, today I'm just gonna clean. I'm probably gonna play me some little music and just chill. I wanted to show y'all this shirt. So I'm making myself give up some stuff that I've been trying to keep. You know how you have those things that you just try to keep? Like, oh, I really wanna keep this, I really wanna keep this, but it's like, why are you keeping it? So, let me show y'all. So these little hoodies, we made these in high school. And this guy named Calvert, he the one that um, drew the pictures. 
So the picture, so it was funny because we came up with the concept. My major in high school was graphic art and design. So we came up with the concept. We screen printed these ourselves. And it's like, let them go. And it's supposed to be the class of 07. And then these are the other years. I, it doesn't say it on there no more, but 08, 09, and 2010. And um, so these are our nuts. <laughs> it's a planner. And let, these are the nuts. And the nuts going into their mouth. And we saying, let our nuts go. Oh, my God. Like, now that I'm explaining to you what it means, I really want to keep the shirt. <laughs> I might just keep it, but I don't know. I might just give it away. Um, but yeah, so what happened was the story behind this is somebody stole our idea and did try to act like it was their idea. And they swear to God, like, it's our idea, da, 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 da. But I'm like, I was there when we came up with this idea. Like, because we knew we couldn't put, like, let our nuts go. So we just came up with the planner idea. It's so funny. I think I might keep it because it's a good memory. It's a really good memory. <laughs> hey, y'all. I look crazy as hell, but I'm just going to get me some food. I was cleaning up my room. I'm about to go down here to the um, trash to take this stuff. I, I just noticed that I had a DSW thing for $20 off a $49 purchase. So I might try to order online because I'm not going to DSW. I'm not going nowhere but to get food. Um, I'm like, damn, and it ended today. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> damn. And I, I could order me some black and white vans, though. I might order me some black and white vans. I might have to go ahead and order them bitches, dog. Might as well. And get my $20 off. Um, what was I about to tell y'all? Oh, I was watching this little... First, I was just watching... I forget what I was watching. Then, I uh, turned on this little sermon from One Church LA, which I really like One Church LA. It's Sarah Jakes Roberts Church, but now she's, like, com combined it with her daddy church, whatever. But... They had this guy speaking or whatever, and he was talking about, basically, it spoke to me because I'm like, it's an idea in my head that I want to implement. And, I mean, it, it still had to do with beauty, but I am really afraid to do it. Like, I'm not, like, it's kind of like I, I don't know if y'all can really hear me because I got the heat on and it's blasting, but hopefully you can. Hold on, let me take this trash out. It's like I'm like really afraid to do it and it's just like you know how you ever thought of something or wanted to implement an idea and you're like this is gonna take so much money <laughs> and like it's gonna take a lot of money it, it's not even like oh I can invest in my own money it's kind of like God gonna have to work a miracle if this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I was watching listen to this guy I'm gonna put the uh, link down below for y'all to watch it and he was talking about he was basically saying that he had moved he lived in philly i believe i think he said philly and he was homeless in philly and he ended up moving to california and said he wanted to be a screenwriter and it wasn't working out initially he was about to get ready to go back to philly and just get him a nine to five job god told him to write one more one more play one more story whatever however, whatever it's called and he wrote the story and he dropped it off at some production company and ended up being brown sugar so from there he was on he was on a roll like brown sugar um what's that movie with bow wow lottery ticket i think he named about three movies that i know right he said that he was you know how niggas be when they get money he got money and he was didn't know how to manage his money da, 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 da. long story short he ended up having to go bankrupt and he didn't have anything. He had to buy a Prius. He said he went from a Porsche to a Prius. Okay? Then he says... I'm just going to sum it up. He basically said... He thought of an idea called Hammer and Nails. It's a nail salon for me. He said he had went to the salon. And he said... And he was like... He felt really uncomfortable. Because all the women was like staring at him. Like, what the hell are you doing here? Da, 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 da. And he was like... He looked up the statistics for us. How many people... How many guys go to... When people, when guys go to spas, do they get pedicures? And 40% of men got pedicures. So from there, he said he wanted to open. I guess he didn't get to the end of what it was. But hammer and nails, I'm pretty sure it's a nail salon for men. He went on Shark Tank. He didn't get picked to get the money. Da 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 da. Everything worked out the way it was supposed to work out. And you know how I always tell y'all, like, 
anything that you're supposed to be doing, God will put it, God will, will work it out and put it together. But it was just crazy to hear somebody's story. Like, I've only heard one other person's story like that. Like, everything worked out in his favor. Like, things just started to come together. The same thing, I feel like, not, it, I've heard the story a few times because even with my leak, my leak was like she launched curl box and this started to come together and somebody made her logo on da, 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 da. like things start to come together so if you put the first foot forward then it can't help but to come together it's just crazy but then when you are you never experience nothing like that it's kind of like you're like oh, but is God gonna do that for me and is this the right thing I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> like I know he did it for somebody but I'm just saying is if if this the wrong thing, which I don't feel like it's the wrong thing because it keep coming to me to do. So it's like Alexis, you have to trust your gut and your instinct. So this week I want to just challenge y'all to trust your gut and your instinct. Whatever is pulling on you, I feel like I'm really redundant with stuff, but I feel like y'all be needing to hear this. Like if, if cause cause I can say something till I'm blue in the face to myself, and I still be like, mm, I, I don't know, nah. You said what, girl? I, and I know that's what I'm supposed to do, but fear and like being inside your own head will mess you up each time. That's just what it is. So yeah, I'm getting up. I'm like, okay, Alicia, you gotta take the first step and figure it out what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna take the first step and I'm gonna figure I'm gonna try to figure it out. Well I'm gonna figure I'm going to figure it out because it's something that I really, really do and I'm really passionate about just in general. Um so yeah. I just really need to take the first step and figure it out, figure it out what I need to do. Oh, I really like these, y'all. I think they have a cute on. I don't know if you can see my foot. Let me see if I can zoom in. So this is how I look. But I don't know. I want them, but then I like my other. I like those other ones I saw at the mall. These are the clear shoes on, y'all. And I really like these. I can't fit this size, so I don't look at it. But I just think they're really cute. And I need some shoes. I was going to buy some clear ones online. So it would be really bomb. I ended up ordering the clear shoes. Because I had to think about what I would use the most. And if I get Vans, I'm really not going to wear them like that. Well,